today I'm talking about the top five books I recommend that I read when I was training to be a dancer. These five books, either they've just given me inspiration or great advice on how to improve my technique. When I was training as a ballet dancer, some of these books gave me um, really great insight in what I needed to do and gave my mom really great insight when she and I were kind of navigating this career. So whether you're a parent of a dancer, you're a dancer yourself, you're a professional, younger student, I think these books are a really great way to get started, either to offer you inspiration or information. So join me as we go through the five books that I recommend for dancers. Just remembering too, this is not a comprehensive list. This is just what I grew up reading and what did help me to get started. So first we have the Point Shoe book. Now the Point Shoe book, I understand if you're not a male dancer, however, there are male dancers who do go on point. I recommend this for parents of dancers, of uh, ballet dancers, especially young ballet dancers. If you're getting into wearing point shoes, it's definitely a learning curve for not just the dancer, but the parent. And this is great for understanding and examining not just point shoes and point technique, but understanding like the basics of point readiness, different point methods, the history of dancing on point. It's very important because point shoes are very expensive and I think just under preparing yourself to be ready for what a career, especially in ballet dance, entails. Shoes Training and Technique by Janice Berenger and Sarah Schlesinger. Buying this one, this is Martha Graham's biography, and this is a book for anyone who's interested, not just in Graham, but her Graham technique, where that came from. It's a whole book on her life. It's beautifully written. This gave me so much inspiration. I mean, it really shows everything from her early years to the success of her company, her struggles, and then how she got back in to dance, just how she navigated a career even in the 30s and 40s. Very fascinating to hear about what she achieved in her long life. The ups, the downs, the struggles, the heartache, the people, her lovers. I think I've read it about three times now and I even designed a little show in college about it. A lot of people don't know about. We've heard of Graham Technique. Her technique developed, how her style developed. This is definitely one you want to read. So you want to dance on Broadway. Authored by Tina Paul. Tina Paul has been in uh, multiple musicals on Broadway. There's even uh, forwards by Joel Gray, Tommy Toon, Susan Stroman, Rob Marshall, Arthur Lorenz, many different choreographers and directors on Broadway and in mu movie musicals who have had very long careers. Tells you everything in there. They even talk about dance belts in there, <laughs> which is really funny. She, mention she mentions balls. There's uh, snippets in there from B.B. Newworth, Cheetah Rivera. She interviews all of her friends, all of her Broadway friends, and they really give you great insight insight what to do to navigate a career on Broadway specifically as a dancer so it's very niche and I think it's just the perfect companion to have if you plan on moving to New York and becoming a dancer on Broadway close to Broadway so we have the Radio City Rockettes and this this book is more of an historical account, just kind of going through all the fun pictures and the costumes of the Rockettes. So if you've ever seen the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, you want to get more insight into just what the Rockettes do, how they how they have evolved. This is a really fun book. So if you're a dancer, to know your history, even if you don't plan on being a Rockette, but let's say you want to move to New York, it is very important that you understand Radio City Christmas Spectacular, for example, does not just hire the Rockettes. They hire dancers, they hire actors, they hire singers. So I think it's the more you can know about your industry and who these different people are, the better and that there's just more than one way to make a career in dance. And I think the Rockettes are just cute and fun. So this is one that I really enjoyed. The Ballet Companion. And whether you're a ballet dancer or not, we all have to, especially if you're in, I mean, whatever dance you do, you have to have a solid ballet technique, more than just a basic understanding of it. You do have to have solid technique, regardless of what dance you enter into. And the Ballet Companion, I think, is the best way to start that. The cover here, this is Jillian Murphy, and she's my favorite dancer at the American Ballet Theater. And I just love that she's on the cover here. But, I mean, they talk about everything in here. They talk about... Uh, dance class etiquette, like where you should stand, things that maybe your teacher won't tell you, but that is expected of you. There's an interview in here with Jillian Murphy, and she talked about how she and her dad would understand pirouettes 
through physics. Just stuff that I just wouldn't think to think about. So the ballet companion should be your companion. These are my five book recommendations for anyone thinking about a career in dance, or if you're a parent and your child wants to go into dance and is serious about it, then those are the five books that I recommend. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this channel or you found it helpful, please share with your friends, like and subscribe so I can get, I can continue making more of these fun videos for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.